Okay, cool. Well, now she's all serious. You could no, have just. No, I'm, I'm, I'm never serious. <laughs> but she's a funny girl. What do you think of this funny photo from Venezuela? I love that. I love it. I've seen this on social media. I think it's the cutest thing. Thank you so much for creating this. There's a phone case with this, right? There is too. Oh, wow, so cute. <laughs> Seriously, thank you. Devon Adoremi, weeweeblogs.com. Lisbon must feel at home, must feel like home to you because you, know, you speak fluent Portuguese. Yeah, I mean, I grew up in Rio in Brazil, and actually, the cities of Lisbon and Rio have a lot in common. I was very surprised because, um, of course, Portugal colonized Brazil, so we have a lot of similarities. But the people, the way they behave, and it's very similar, and very chill. So it's nice. It's nice. Oh, that's good. So, are you helping the other friends you've made on like the tours in Israel and Madrid, and are you helping them out with translation and everything? <laughs> I mean, I will for sure. I haven't really seen the other acts since I got here because I got here yesterday and then here just woke up, went straight to rehearsal. But I'm helping my Latvian delegation for sure, saying obrigado, obrigado, explaining what. Because it, it's, it's nice when you try, right, to speak someone else's language. So. And you're learning Latvian, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it the other yeah. way around. I know, I know. It was just, uh, I grew up in Brazil, so my first language is Portuguese, but I'm working on becoming fluid in Latvian for sure. It's just very different from the other languages I speak. Is it really hard? Yes, the grammar is very hard, but it's it's very logical. It's just the, uh, you have to kind of rewire your brain to the language, but I like it very much and I'm determined to becoming fluent. So. And what, what have you learned so far that you need to unlearn? <laughs> Ooh, wait, what, what do you mean? Well, like, what have you learned? You know, like, when you learn a new language, you c sometimes you learn it the... You've learned uh, a wrong sentence, but actually, no, it's not said like okay, that. You so need to... The, the thing that I need to, like, I the, the, re the rewiring process is just the order of the words is different. Yeah. Like in Latvian, for example, I'm not very good at grammar in general. I, in Brazil already, I was so bad in grammar. So like in, in Latvian, if you're saying locative, when you're saying you're in a place, you won't say I am in this place. You would just change the end of the name of the place mm -hmm. to the vowel you need to mm -hmm. show that you're in this place. So stuff like that, you know, that I need to pay more attention to. But I guess that's, that's it. It just takes time. You love red. Beautiful red lipstick. Beautiful uh, red dress. And I was I had the pleasure of being with you in Israel for four days where you went through a Betsy Johnson wardrobe change. You were giving oh us fashion God. moments. <laughs> a lot of it was red. Thank you. Yeah, I mean it's a color that I love. It's a color that represents like passion and drama and and it makes me feel empowered as well. So I definitely want to bring that that um, energy t with me on stage. And before this whole thing as well, my Lady's latest project as an artist was the, an EP called Ruby. Mm -hmm. And it was all surrounded by the color red because of how it makes me feel as well. And so I just kept going with it as well. Mm. You're all alone on stage, similar to Supernova. Yeah. Do you not crave company? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lonely on that stage. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, of course, I think it depends on what the song needs. I think that this, when I think of uh, how I wrote the song and the story that it is, I think I really wanted it to be about the emotional journey that the song tells. And it's an introspective song. It's a girl that had these feelings that she's been keeping to herself for all this time and now she's starting to share her story. And I don't think that it would require more people on stage and crazy effects, you know. It, it works for a lot of acts, I just don't think for this song that it would make sense. You know what really makes sense for this song? Mm. You're fluent in Portuguese. How about a Portuguese version? Oh have, you, have you ever <laughs> thought about that? Yes, I've been getting like, the, I just did a press conference, they talked about that too. It's just that I would have to really create a version because if I translate, it just doesn't work. Like just the length of the words, like eu seria só a garota divertida para você. That's how big it is. So um, I thought about it for sure, but I would have to really spend some time on it. Someone wrote a, a French version for it though. Oh really? Yeah. But I haven't checked out yet. I will check it out though because I love French. So we'll see. Our American correspondent really needs to be in this video because she's like your biggest fan. Really? Suzanne Adams, ah, come yeah. through. <laughs> you you come sit next to Laura. Yay! <laughs> Finally, a girl of Wimmy Blogs. Oh! I um I've followed Wimmy Blogs since the beginning. William is my brother. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see the similarities. Okay, of course. I haven't met William yet. Oh. Have you not? Um, William, where are you at, bro? <laughs> he loves a beautiful diva, so he Thank loves you. you. Thank you. I hope so. I'm excited to meet him. Yeah. 
So thank you. That's all the love we have for these funny girls. But the original funny girl is Laura Risotto. Mm -hmm. Funny girl, I love the title as well. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad that everything worked out and thank you for having me once. And she's in the second half of the second semi-final singing for Latvia. So mm -hmm. if you like it, you need to throw votes her way. Yes. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Bye.